the week of Cry Out for Justice. Be inspired special on Liberty Radio. Hello and welcome to Be Inspired. As you can see, I'm here on the altar from our headquarters in the UK once again. And I have here Pastor Carlos and also Pastor Oliver. They're going to be crying out together with me in a moment, together with pastors from all over the UK. And I have today Pastor Lucas from our branch in Edmonton. How are you, Pastor Lucas? In the faith, Bishop. How are the people there? Is Edmonton here? Can I check here, yes. Pastor Lucas? Do you think I'm going yes, to... Yes, Bishop. Edmonton. So all Edmonton. the North region, we are connected in this faith, Bishop. That's great. Let's see who is connected. Edmonton, are you there? I can see here Cardiff. I can see here Glasgow's flag. That's Glasgow's flag, huh? blue and white. Scotland is there. Lozells, Ipswich, Jersey is there as well. Once again, Wood Green, Nottingham. Type here on the chat which UCKG branch you are from so we can see who is there. Finsbury Park na fé, português conectado. Pastor Oliveira aí, ó. Eles estão na fé, bicho. No <laughs> mesmo espírito, in the same faith. Yes, Portuguese branch connected. Yes, we can see here. Branches are connected. And I believe everybody's typing at once here. There was a, a, a crash here on my, my system. Can you see there, Pastor Daniel? Please, let me know there. Come closer here. Yes, Bishop, we have here... You have all the, all the phones there. We have three phones. Have, <laughs> if one fails, the other one works. Yeah, <laughs> we have it. Wood Green. We have here Wilsden Green. People connected here. Ah, Edmonton. I found it. Edmonton. That's great. great. Pastor Lucas and the people in the faith there, right? Yes, Bishop. All the people in the faith connected on Liberty Way with us. The North Region is here as well. Wood Green, Hackney, Stanford Hill, Bishop, in the faith. That's it. So you can see there the pastors from the North Region. I can see there Pastor Michael Lewis. How are you, Pastor Michael? Good evening, Bishop. In the faith, in the faith. fighting for justice, Great. people this must is... see answers. Amen. So the branches are there, Wood Green, Hackney. We see the pastors from North London, and we have pastors connected, as I said, from all over the UK. So we are here now live. It is now 10.02, and as we promised, we're going to be crying out for God to do justice in our lives every single day this week. Huh? This is the week of justice. So 10 in the morning, we're going to be crying out together, and also throughout this whole week, on being inspired, we're going to be crying out for God to do justice. I have here the requests. Oh, from here, Pastor. Please. Your requests are here. We have seen here some of the requests, people asking God to do justice in their finances. Many are struggling also in their health. We're going to cry out for God to do justice in your health. We have photographs here from family members also. I'm sure we have mothers, we have fathers now who cannot take it anymore, seeing their children rebellious or using drugs or perhaps far from God. Some of you parents, you used to bring your children for Sunday classes. Remember on, on Sunday school, CBC, they learned the truth, but unfortunately they chose not to stay with us. But in Jesus name, we're going to cry out to God now and God is going to send his power there and your children will be back here. Yes, this is our faith. So please, wherever you are, can you stand up? I'm going to ask Pastor Lucas, as we kneel down here, Pastor Lucas, you can start the cry out, okay? Just wait for us to get on our knees. If you want, you can get on your knees as well. We are doing this as a sign of humbleness before God. As we spoke about the kings last week, many kings, they would put on sackcloth, they would humble themselves. Actually, they humbled themselves and God performed, you know, great works in their midst, great deliverance, great justice took place. And we believe 
the same God of yesterday, He is here today, and He's going to do the same in our lives. So if you'd like to get on your knees, please feel free. We're going to be doing this now. Pastor Lucas, you can cry out as you are ready there. Our Lord and our Father, King of kings and judge of judges, we come before your throne of justice, the supreme court of the universe, and we are joining our faith together with all these people they are connected with us, all the pastors pleading, my God, for justice, because there are people here suffering with sickness, diseases, pain, their parents struggling with their children, my God. Children that left your presence, were raised in your presence, and they left. Marriages that are broken, wives that have been abandoned, my God. People suffering in their finances, living this country illegally, uh, my Father. But you, we are, we are your children. You are our Father. We are entitled to your promises, my God. We are not here seeking vengeance. We don't want harm to anyone. We just want what is ours. We want justice. We want your promises in our lives. So, my Father, stand up from your throne now. Stretch out your hands, your mighty hands, to bring justice to our lives. My God, all the pain, the suffering must go. Misery, poverty, my God, must live our lives. Fulfill your promises, my God. We want what is ours, what is our right. We want justice in the name of Jesus. Sim, meu Deus, justo juiz, nós estamos aqui juntamente com todo o teu povo, meu Pai. E pedimos justiça ao Senhor, porque nós só temos a ti a quem recorrer. Então faz justiça na vida dessa esposa, desta mãe, deste trabalhador, daqueles que recorreram até o Senhor, que chegaram, meu Deus, até o teu trono, até o teu tribunal. Então estenda a tua mão poderosa para fazer justiça. A tua palavra nos garante que o Senhor depressa faria justiça. Então vem sobre o injustiçado. Aquele que tem uma causa na justiça Problema na imigração Aqueles, meu Deus, que já fizeram de tudo Humanamente falando Mas não teve um bom resultado Então age, meu Senhor Entra aonde nós não podemos entrar Vai aonde a nossa mão não pode ir E julga a causa do teu povo Faz justiça na vida do doente Daquele que perderam, meu Deus Por causa dessa crise que se instaurou a sua empresa, o seu trabalho a sua casa, os seus bens e faz justiça porque nós sabemos que o Senhor pode e que a tua mão não está encolhida, então aí do alto e santo lugar, envia os teus anjos e faz justiça na vida daqueles meu Senhor, que clamam conosco, que estão clamando de dia e de noite e responda o teu povo no nome do Senhor Jesus sim meu Deus, em nome do Senhor Jesus Cristo, levanta-te, ó Deus, de tu trono, meu Padre, porque nós outros temos madres, temos padres, temos pessoas agora unindo a fé de Jesus com a nossa, e creemos, meu Padre, que o Senhor tem seu ouvido atento para escutar a oração de aqueles que se han unido a nós outros dia e noite. Então, meu Padre, aqui estão as petições de cada um, Senhor, aqui estão os pedidos pessoas que derramaram lágrimas em tu altar, meu Deus atenda esse povo Senhor, extienda yes. do martejo para eles agora, meu Deus, e arranca todo o mal, que as injustiças caigam por terra e que o Senhor, meu Deus a justiça tuja seja hecha aqui em estas orações meu Padre, que nós outros estamos assinando, em nome do Senhor Jesus Our righteous judge, remember Angola. Remember your servants there, my Lord. Look at the affliction of your people there in that country. Look at the atrocities. See what everyone is seeing, my Lord. I know you can see it, but we need your help, Lord. 
this week manifest your power my Lord you are a righteous judge and we believe with you it's possible so hear the cry out of your servants there hear the cry out of your servants in countries where the church is being persecuted hear the cry out of the persecuted ones my lord and do justice father manifest your power honor our faith honor the faith of your people lord we determine that lives will not be the same we determine that all these requests here these cases here they are being judged and you are doing justice in these people's lives in jesus name whoever you are now god touches your life he opens the doors for you yes he meets your needs you who are desperate depressed maybe you were feeling suicidal he comes to you to rescue you, to deliver you from this suffering, this injustice. Receive deliverance now. Be free right now. Hear from the altar, from God's sanctuary. Your help comes from, He touches you. Be free, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Lord. We believe you have heard our cry and we are blessed this week is blessed in Jesus name and you who agree say amen and don't forget tomorrow we're gonna be back here once again at 10 p.m. and also 10 in the morning yes we're gonna be crying out every single day in the morning and in the evening so let's continue uniting our faith and let's continue agreeing together that the justice of God will be done. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. God bless you. We see you here or there in our studio. Bye-bye. At any given moment, everything in life needs to stop in order to be recharged and refueled. You can either do that or the device will be of no use to you. What is the point of running back and forth, going after your goals non-stop, but becoming weaker and emptier? Maybe you have been living like this, spiritually on the edge. The Faith School is the mandatory midweek pit stop. It is for you to recharge your strength so you can face your battles refueled and strengthened with the Word of God. When the Word enters you, this is what happens. Stop, think and invest in your spiritual growth. This Wednesday, at 7.30 p.m. at 232 Seven Sisters Road, Finsbury Park, London, N4, 3NX or at any universal church near you. Remember to bring your Bible. I've never seen the righteous be forsaken nor a child of Abraham begging for bread but the people of the Lord carry in their heart a cry out for change and for justice is it fair my God to see your people this way Suffering and living with injustice every day The thing that hurts the most so deep inside of me Is to believe in a great God and His wonders never see And I ask myself sometimes, has my God aged with time? Or has 
lives he'd forgotten of the wonders of the past has he abandoned us and left us all alone to perish in the desert without hope stretch out your gavel oh just and righteous god and crush all injustice that oppresses your child i know that you are righteous and never will change your justice is eternal your justice never fails stretch out your devil oh just and righteous god and crush all injustice that oppresses your child i know that you are righteous and never will change your justice is eternal your justice never fails is it fair my god to see your people this way suffering and living with injustice every day that hurts the most so deep inside of me is to believe in a great God and his wonders never see and I ask myself sometimes has my God aged with time or has he forgotten of the wonders of the past has he abandoned us and left us all alone to perish in the desert without hope stretch out your devil oh just and righteous god and crush all injustice that oppresses your child i know that you righteous and never will change your justice is eternal your justice never fails stretch out your devil oh just and righteous god and crush all injustice that oppresses your child i know that you are righteous and never will change your justice is eternal your justice never fails